You know, Gabrielle, that's really interesting because Mitt Romney is the guy who had the t quote, quote unquote tougher stance against immigrants, right? But yet exactly. somehow he managed to, to convincingly beat uh, Newt on that issue. Yeah, I think there was no big difference between the two. In, in those terms, I read the interviews with Latino where they say, well, uh, you know, Romney is the family guy, or Romney has more chances to beat Obama, which was very important for ev everybody uh, uh, decisions. Um, I think this was a really fun uh, time for Latinos because you saw two grown-ups uh, trying to, for Latinos to like them, while at the same time they were saying, well, if I come to power, the next day I'm going to deport one-third or one-quarter or one-fifth <laughs> of, of your population. You know, so, so they were trying really hard, and, and some moments came really uh, interesting when, uh, for example, Romney came with the self-deportation. Right. You know, Latinos will self-deport. And somehow that worked? How yeah. did he get Latino votes after that? And, uh, he was not talking to Latinos. And let's remember that the Latino population in Florida that votes for the Republican Party in this primary, it's totally different from the other Latinos in, in the country. It's different. This was the Latino time. This was the Latino hour, and that's it. If you heard uh, Marco Rubio's name as candidate for vice president yeah. from both candidates, Right. You're not going to hear that again until maybe uh, uh, November. Right. Uh, but they might pick Marco Rubio. And Marco Rubio did not endorse either one of them because he's like, hey, in case yeah. either one of you right. win, you know well, what you need. You're not be hearing about Marco right. Rubio in Alabama or well, Oklahoma or anything like that. Well, he just came with some statements that favor Romney. That's surprising. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because he thinks Romney's going to win. Oh, wow. Yeah, surprising said, for a politician. Yeah, and he said today, that though he didn't endorse anybody, he said today during the primary that the winner of the Florida primary will be the nominee, knowing full well that Romney was going to be the winner of the primary. Right, absolutely. Well, last question for you, Gabrielle, on this issue, which is, uh, you know, President Obama did not do immigration reform, didn't really seem to push it that hard. The calculation was, it doesn't matter, I'm going to run against a Republican who's going to be terrible on this issue. Does that seem to be the correct calculation here? It may matter, and, and the, the proof is that President Obama is trying to amend, to correct himself. But here are the numbers. He has the record in deportations in one year, more than 400,000. And this is going to emerge during the, the national campaign. So I don't think many Latinos are going to cross and they, that 67 percent that voted for Obama in 2008 is going to turn Republican. But it may be possible that many Latinos are going to stay home and not vote at all. Right. And the home they stay in uh, might be Mexico because Obama's already deported a lot of so now, of course, those were not citizens, so they wouldn't get the vote anyway. But uh, all right, when we come back, we're going to look forward, as President Obama loves to do. Let's look at February, what's coming up, and in those states, who has the advantage, Romney or Gingrich, when we return?